Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie. Today I have for you finally, finally, finally the apartment tour. Today marks a year. It's actually like our year anniversary of us moving in. And honestly, it took me this long for many reasons. One, delays on shipping, of course. And two, because I honestly felt like it was never fully done. Like there were things that I wanted to add, things that I wanted to change, but I realized the apartment is never going to be fully finished and I'm always going to be adding new things, changing things here and there. But for now, I want to share how the apartment is at the moment and finally have a place for all of the links. So everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be linked in the description box. So make sure to check that out for any pieces that you may want. If any item is sold out, I'm going to also link some similar pieces down below. But without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so this is the first thing you see when you walk through the door. This is the main door, and then towards your right, I ended up adding this console table, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that it took me a while to find the perfect size for this small wall. But I wanted to have like a little shelf or something basically to store essentials or things that we need on the daily. For example, I added some face masks here. I also have some matches and then below I have my candle stuff and here are some slippers and like little foot covers in case people don't want to take their shoes off. The actual shelf or console table, whatever you want to call it, is from Home Goods, but I have seen similar ones on Wayfair, which I'll try to link down below. Now for this wall paint, if you remember when I first showed my empty apartment tour, this was actually gray. But I felt that the color scheme that I was going for, it needed like a warm color. So I decided to paint it this chocolate brown. And we also painted this area right here for the counter. The color was custom made, so I'm going to try my best to link the video that I shared us painting it and also the color. But yeah, this mirror, hello, is from Target. It's from my old apartment. And honestly, I felt that the size was perfect for this area. They have this mirror as well, a lot bigger in case you guys are interested. This is a smaller size. Um, this little vase is from Target. These pampas are from TJ Maxx, I believe. The key tray, which is actually a jewelry tray, is from Anthropology. We have some crystals here, my keys. And then below it, I have some matches, which these were like party favors for a wedding. We have this little wooden bowl, which was a home goods fine, as well as this one, home goods fine. This is from Amazon, which is just like your candle essentials. And the basket was also a Marshall's fine. I will link the shoe covers as well as the disposable slippers, which are from Amazon. But yeah, that's pretty much the entrance. And then to your left, I added this wall art which is from the poster store. I am in love with this print and the colors that it pulls out and I also love the frame. But the main reason why I added this frame here is because it's where we have the light box. I can't show you because if not, it's gonna fall. But it covers it perfectly. But obviously for emergency reasons, you can easily remove it, which is great. Now, I don't know if to show you the kitchen first or this side, but I think I'm gonna start with this side. So we have our washer and dryer here, which honestly, blessing coming from an apartment in the Bronx that didn't have a washer and dryer all her life. I am so grateful for this. So to make it a little bit more practical, we added this shelf from Home Depot. We added two of these shelves. As you can see, it has like two brackets in the back. And then all the way on the top, I have some Christmas decor my little Bissell, let me turn this light on. But yeah, back there I have my little green Bissell which cleans my couch. I also have this little Lazy Susan with some products. These jars are from Ikea, just my iron, steamer, just the basic essentials for doing your laundry. It's not extremely organized, but it does the job. And then on this side we have our summer duvet with the Ziploc like sealed thing. Honestly, lifesaver. Love that. We have a couple other stuff under our bed. I don't know the proper name, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's pretty much the laundry room. Right in front, we have our messy closet. Keep in mind, messy. That's what this looks like. It is definitely not extremely organized as I would want. I honestly stopped myself from filming the apartment tour 
just for this closet because it's never organized but I've come to the realization that it's never going to be organized. I feel like we have made it really practical which is great. We added these shelves and brackets as you can see back there. They're from Home Depot. I'll link the video that we um, install this so you guys can get a glimpse. All of these bins are from Home Goods. This right here, I don't remember. I think it's from Family Dollar from my old apartment. We have our microfiber cloths. I'm not gonna go too in depth with each box because it's quite pointless. But on the top, we also added another shelf here from Home Depot, which is great to store more stuff. We have some like canvases. This is technically supposed to be our coat closet for guests but clearly it's not. This we definitely need to organize. We have our air mattress, our mop, steam mop, some plant stuff in the bottom, uh, the Dyson, pretty much our everything slash messy closet. It's what I like to call it. I also highly recommend to add little labels like these. It just makes life so much easier when looking for stuff, especially because these bins are not uh, see-through, but yeah. Moving on to this room right here, which is our guest bathroom. Technically Eric's bathroom, to be honest, on the daily. I hate the light in this bathroom, but Eric does not want to let me change it. So we are stuck with a yellow light. Anyways, welcome to the guest bathroom. I added the shelf from Amazon, which is from our old apartment. I stored everything exactly as is in the old apartment. Our towels and toilet paper, I honestly feel like it's just so practical and great. We have it right above the toilet. We have a cute little faux plant from Home Goods. This right here, they're hand towels from Kleenex. I love getting these whenever we host. I get them at Target if you're wondering. And then this is Eric's medicine cabinet. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. We have some storage here, which is so amazing. And then the bathtub. Now that we're done with the boring stuff, let's move on to the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. I honestly love the size. I just love everything about it. Love the white cabinets and the appliances are great. Not a huge fan of our fridge because it's honestly not the biggest size. So we always struggle when getting groceries, but it does a job. Another thing that I'm extremely grateful for, aside from the washer and dryer, is our dishwasher. Oh my god, game changer. This is a rug, a jute rug, I think it's called, from Home Goods. It's from my old apartment. This trash can is also from my old apartment. Not the prettiest, but again, it just does the job and it fits perfectly there. We have all of these cabinets. I'm not gonna go through all of them but that's one of them. This is a lifesaver, it's from Home Goods. I'll link it down below. I think it's also sold at the container store, but you basically, you know, put your spices there. This right here is a mess, but it is what it is. This bowl is from Ikea, love it. And then we also have these lights down here, which are from Amazon. I also have it here. And here even though we need to change the batteries and I have another one of these little slide um, spice racks thing since we don't have an actual pantry I wanted to add a little bit more storage oh I forgot we have this light as well now it looks a little bit better since we don't have a pantry I wanted to add more storage so what we ended up putting these shelves they're from Home Depot it's like a wood a dark wood color and I feel like the size is perfect it also matches with the neutral tones and this paint right here here we keep the coffee some mugs glasses sugar I also have my probiotic pills back there because if not I would forget and then down here I ended up getting this uh, bounty hand towel organizer it's adhesive we need to like tighten this but it's adhesive and it's honestly quite perfect for that area. Above we have some cooking books. Ask me how many times I've opened any of them. Don't know. And then these organizers are from Home Goods. I have a couple more in the back. And this little Christmas tree is from IKEA. It's all year round because I love this little jar. Then down here we have the cookie thing that's from Home Goods or Home Sense I think. Again, the spice rack is honestly one of my favorites. This is 
one of our cabinets love this little like stand it's it works great for storing your plates if you don't have a lot of space like i do i got it from family dollar if i'm not mistaken but you can find it at dollar tree or something and yeah these plates by the way i get asked all the time are from our place as well as these bowls and these glasses these are from target they were eric's and i honestly use them every day so love them i don't think they sell them anymore but that's what that looks like but yeah that's basically our kitchen from this side we have more storage here this is not to organize the show and under here i do want to share even though it's messy this rolling thing we got it from home depot and i feel like it's just such a lifesaver it works perfectly in that corner this is what it looks like from this side of the kitchen but my favorite part of the kitchen has to be the bar stools if you've been following me for a while you know the struggle of these bar stools first of all i had no idea how expensive bar stools were and second of all bar stools usually come in pairs so like in twos or you know individually but then they're an arm and a leg Anyways, I stumbled upon these chairs online and I was like, oh my god, I am obsessed, but they were $600 each. Like, individually, they were $600. And then I ended up settling for some that I saw at Target, but they weren't high enough and they also didn't have the back support, which I love about these. Uh, these are actually really comfortable aside from how cute they look. So yeah, the Target ones didn't work out. And then we randomly went to HomeSense and I found two of these bar stools and then i was like oh my god i need a third so i posted it on instagram i ended up calling every single home sense near me and then one of my lovely followers ended up finding it in jersey so we drove like an hour and a half to get it and now it just looks so perfect here totally a bargain for the quality and just how beautiful these are honestly and they're still originally like $500 I think but we ended up getting these covers from HomeSense or Home Goods because whenever we would sit on these our jeans would stain it and I was like you know what I'm not going to ruin my struggle stools I mean it doesn't look that bad with the cushion or covers but it definitely looks a hundred times better without it now this right here these shelves are from Amazon. I have them around the apartments. You'll see. I originally wanted to store some spices there But then Eric let me know that it was going to look too clutter and I was like, you know what? You're right So I decided to put some plants here and then it just wasn't doing too well for the plants because it would just die So now I just put random stuff and whichever plant thrives we keep it but normally plants don't do well here because there's no window and then on this side i have this stand which is from ikea one of my favorite purchases ever it's actually from my old apartment and we keep these plants here this is our new yorker puzzle this was the first puzzle we made during quarantine and honestly i just have an emotional attachment to it and i wanted to frame it so we glued it during quarantine and now I feel like it just looks so perfect here. Goes with the kitchen vibe since it's like a restaurant. Super cute. All right, it is time for the star of the show, in my opinion, the living room. I am so obsessed with our living room. I'm sorry if I've repeated that too many times, but honestly, I am really proud of our living room and it's just my dream living room. So, Let's go through it, shall we? The lighting isn't the greatest right now because it's about to hit sunset, but the couch is from Bob's. I originally wanted the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware or the West Elm couch, but those were really expensive, one. Two, they were backed order for like six months, like every single place out there, to be honest. I originally wanted a white couch, so I was looking everywhere for a white couch and it was just so hard. And then we stumble upon this beauty right here, which turned out to be one, the perfect size and two, the perfect color and also so, so, so comfortable. This is the Lux sectional couch. It's actually a U shape technically, except for this side is a little bit shorter. But if you guys have watched my couch vlog, it was a struggle and a half to, you know, measure it around the living room because there's space behind here 
due to that poll. I'm not even going to get too into it, honestly, but it ended up working out. Now, the rug is from Overstock. You can find this rug anywhere, I feel. They sell the same exact rug in Walmart, Wayfair, basically anywhere. It's an amazing rug. Love the rug. It's so cozy, so fluffy, it's so soft. However, it is extremely hard to clean and to keep it looking pretty because, you know, if you walk around, it's going to start looking like this. But it is really hard to clean. Thankfully, our Dyson has been a lifesaver for it. However, it does, like, wear weirdly here since we walk around this area a lot. It's holding up pretty well, though, I'm not going to lie. We've had it for almost a year now. This was also another... <laughs> struggle trying to find the perfect size rug because the previous one was smaller than this i forget the size of this one i think it's 12 by something or 13 by something i'll list the actual size down below but this turned out to be the perfect size for this specific couch because the couch is actually massive maybe it looks smaller but it's huge all right on to my favorite piece of our apartment which has to be the coffee table this was also another piece that took forever to arrive so i ordered it i believe at the end of october and it was supposed to arrive the next month it ended up arriving in january but the wait was worth it she is beautiful and honestly fits perfectly with the couch i didn't want anything too overpowering or too big i have always been in love with tables like these i remember my grandfather used to make these types of tables by hand back in dr and they're pretty popular in dr so this is what it looks like if you go around obviously it is a glass top that could be a little bit annoying sometimes, especially because this apartment gets really dusty due to the windows, but it's still absolutely worth it in my opinion. And then since the table is just such a work of art on its own, I didn't want to put like any coffee table books there or anything outrageous. For now, I have this jade plant and I think it just works great in this little area. I almost forgot to mention where the table is from, but I got it on a random website. I was looking for a table like this for months and I couldn't find anything that would be like a decent price because everything is outrageously expensive for tables like this or the dimensions wouldn't work for this space. I found a couple on Wayfair and Overstock, which I'll link down below in case the dimensions work better than this one, but the color wood wasn't necessarily what I was looking for because everything seems to be a lot darker than this, but this is natural teak wood, and the website is Bailey Street Home, I believe. So I'll link it below for you guys. It's currently on sale. Now, another similar type of table has to be our side table, which is for, you know, our drinks and stuff. This was just a random find from HomeSense. I have seen it on Wayfair, which I'll try to link down below. This used to be red. I got it from HomeGoods and ended up painting it. And it works great in this little area. I also love, like the pussy willows because it looks like hair you know it's a vibe now the pillows are all from different places so the white ones are from target the one thing i don't like about it is that you can't like remove the cover because it doesn't have a cover so we haven't been able to wash it if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments below then we have these pillows the inserts are from h&m and then the actual covers of the green ones are from Amazon. Love these covers, they come in different colors. And then the cream ones, which match perfectly unintentionally with the couch, are from H&M, as well as the inserts, like I mentioned. Fun fact, the living room or any of the rooms, to be honest, don't have ceiling light. So we had to get a lamp and we ended up finding this one from west elm i originally wanted a chandelier but we went to a cabin during the winter and i fell in love with this one that they had and i had to get it so it's from west elm the actual um cover is white it looks cream probably and then it has this bottom piece which i like it is in an awkward spot so if someone's sitting here they're going to hit it but if you hit it a couple times, you're going to remember that it's there. Now, for the wall art, I wanted something that had texture and it was neutral and not too loud. And I randomly saw one of these at Home Goods, but it was um, broken because these are in a shadow box, as you can tell. That's what these look like from this angle. 
I was so upset when I noticed that it was broken, so obviously I left it, but I let it be for a couple months and I couldn't find anything else to replace it. So I kept going to different home goods and trying to find the same exact art piece and it was just not happening. <laughs> Until like three months later, I found one of them in Yonkers and then I ended up finding the second one in Queens. Moral of the story is if you find something at home goods that you love, get it if you can and if you don't find it, hunt down every single home goods. Hint, hint. All right, so that's what it looks like from that side. I feel like I'm going to have to put the curtains down because the sun is really strong right now. Starting with the plant, I used to have a fiddle leaf fig and I just got this new plant yesterday because the fiddle leaf fig was a no-go. I ended up throwing her away. She was a struggle and a half, if you guys remember. It's really sad because honestly, it's one of my favorite plants, but this one's thriving so far. Hopefully she does good in that corner. Um, I used to have it in this corner. However, I had to move it due to the vent and this one is actually doing great in that corner now. The planter, I got it with the fiddle leaf fig and it's from Scarsdale. And then for the TV stand, this is also one of my favorite pieces. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond. It comes in different colors and I believe it's a 70 inch one. The TV, however, it's 75 inches and it still works perfectly. I know, it's a huge TV. But we spend a lot of time here and love watching like movies and this couch is just so perfect for a big TV. So we just decided to use up the wall and I feel like it works great here. Like it doesn't look obnoxiously big even though it is, in my opinion that is. We also have some LED lights back here which I get asked all the time where it's from. It's from Amazon. I'm going to link it below for you guys. This orchid was a gift as well as this little cute succulent. Since this is a rental, we ended up getting the cord covers from Amazon, also a lifesaver. It, it would look better without it, but it does the job. Now, these vases right here, I feel like everyone has, so you guys already know. These are from H&M. This one is from Etsy. And then this right here is from H&M. The basket is from Home Goods. You can find the best baskets there. I have some throw blankets. And inside of the basket, if you guys are wondering, is our speaker or the base. Honestly, how would they know? How would they know? It sounds exactly the same having it inside, so lifesaver. The TV stand has two cabinets. This one has our games and puzzles. And that one has the Xbox over there. And then in the center, I have some coffee table books, our remote controls, and a chess game right there. Lastly, for the living room, we have the Monstera plant, which is one of my favorites at the moment. The vase is from Home Goods, I believe. And for those wondering, this moss stick I got from a local nursery in Connecticut. I'll try to link one if I find it online, but definitely check your local nurseries. And then I have another plant right there. Now for the bar cart, I totally forgot to share this first before showing you the living room, but the bar cart is from, I believe Wayfair, if not Walmart. I know for a fact they sell the exact same one in both places. So I'll link it down below if I find it. But this was another piece that I really was hunting down because I wanted something that could store wine glasses and like actual wine bottles as well so i love the little shelf situation and it's also really really good quality it's like a mirror here and then next to it i have this little ring situation which is a magazine cover but i actually have some coffee table books here so if you're wondering above it i have this beautiful vase which was actually a housewarming gift so in love with it. I love the fact that it's silver. It's honestly one of the only pieces that's silver, but I feel like it goes perfectly with the mirror and the black and white photos. If you know, you know, it took me like almost a year to put up pictures on these frames. So that's a win. And that's what it looks like from this side. By the way, these are all from Amazon. I believe this one is from Crate and Barrel, but pretty much Amazon to be honest. So I'll try to link some down below for you guys. Now onto this bedroom, which is the office. Now, before I go into the office, I just wanna mention as a small business owner and someone that's just starting, 
your office is never going to be fully perfect. I have finally come into terms about that and this was honestly one of the rooms that was slowing me down from filming the apartment tour because I just don't feel that it's fully done yet, especially as my business grows. But let's show you how it's currently looking like. So this is what it looks like right when you walk in. As you all know, I'm going to start working on the fall and winter collection. So I have a bunch of yarn here to work with. I ended up adding one of the Billy bookcases in the front here and it works perfectly for this area behind this door i actually have my nail polish rack which is from amazon i had this in my old apartment really love it especially if you are into nail polish like i am and then here i have this foldable table for whenever i am packing orders so that is what's there in the middle of the room i just have this rug which i got from marshall's or home goods i think and then above it I have this little chandelier that we ended up installing. By we, I mean Eric. So like I mentioned, there's no ceiling lights in any of the rooms. So this switch basically works for that. Eric ended up installing it. It's from Amazon. Let me see if the lighting works better from this side. So he drilled it in. It's like a plug-in type of chandelier. And then he put the same cord covers all around until the actual plug which is right here and the plug is connected to the switch even though this room gets a lot of natural light after five especially during the winter this room gets really dark so this has been a lifesaver starting with this corner i have one of the billy bookcases with the actual doors so this one has the black yarn and then below it i just have some random stuff that I need to honestly go through, but these are just like art supplies, a bunch of paperwork, you know, just office essentials basically. Above, I have some more yarn. These are the lac shelves from Ikea. I have two of them. Above, I just have some plants. That right there, it's actually a bookend. It was a Christmas gift. And then this is a crystal from Home Goods. Below it, I have some more plants, of course. <laughs> this room is like filled with plants because I don't know, just good vibes only. I have my printer in the middle and then those two plants. And then below it, I have the Calyx, I think it's called. This is like the cube organizer from Ikea. And I installed those doors to hide everything inside. It's basically more yarn inside. Now, this area right here is not done. I'm not sure exactly how I want to organize it or decorate it. These vases, I ended up painting them with like regular paint, two different colors, a darker, a lighter. And they're all from different places like Ikea, Home Goods, Goodwill, stuff like that. I have some extra yarn here, obviously. My plant. On this side, I have some jewelry, which is really cool. These are from Amazon. And I just have some of my jewelry organized there. And another Billy bookcase because the more the merrier. I now have three. <laughs> the joke of it all is that I used to have these two bookshelves as my shoe shelves to organize my shoes and my heels. And things have definitely changed since. But yeah, I obviously have more yarn and some essentials for my small business. I'm going to go more in depth on everything that I have for my small business in the actual tour of this room because I made like a before and after transformation. But for now, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of how everything is currently looking like. These organizers are from Home Goods, of course, because they have the best and the most affordable. Below it, I have like packing stuff, which I will go in depth in that video i closed the blinds for now but this side basically has my table and my computer to edit my desk is from target it's from my old apartment and then this is actually from amazon and it fits perfectly my computer stand is from amazon this is from amazon this was a gift and i honestly don't know where it's from but i'll try to link one similar and I think I mentioned the chair is from Ikea. This little area used to be next to the TV stand, but I ended up moving it here because it just makes more sense for the plant that I have over there. Now, this little area used to be in the living room, but I moved it here for now. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to keep it here, but the wood sticks are from Crate and Barrel. This vase is from Ikea and I painted it the same color that I painted all of the vases that I have. The pompous grass are $3.99 from the highway if you know you know it's honestly pompous grass season again you guys so highly recommend to check out the highways just be careful 
Then I have my dry erase board right here. And moving on to my vanity or my makeup area, I have three Alex 9 drawers. These are a lifesaver for products. I honestly need to declutter everything, but I just have all of my makeup here. And I actually have it in labels. This one is coming apart. I need to change it. I'm going to make a totally separate video on my makeup collection, skincare collection, hair care collection, decluttering all of this because these are all makeup, skin, and hair. Then above, I have my lovely brush holder. This is one of my favorite hacks that I've ever done. These are from Ikea and they're meant to be used in the kitchen, I think, for utensils. It's super affordable. I honestly think everything turned out to be like $8, if that. This is from Home Goods and it has like a bunch of jewelry that I need to organize. The mirror, you guessed it, Home Goods fine. Honestly, Home Goods, just sponsor me. <laughs> please seriously i needed a mirror to do my makeup because i honestly personally prefer to do my makeup standing i feel like i do it quicker that way and i just put it up to my height my friend stephanie came over and basically she was like this with the mirror it was so funny this is another cute mirror that i got in a pr package it has like lights which is really cool this is another vase that i painted with some pompous grass that i got for free 99 these are totally different pompous grass though. This one I got in Connecticut and this one I got in Yonkers. All right, and then next to the Alex 9 drawers, I have this new storage unit from Ikea. I'm not sure the name, but I will be linking it down below. Really, really love this if you guys need storage. I have obviously more yarn here. And then I have some inventory for not the label and my camera. Um, and more stuff down here. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And then above, I have more yarn. These are two lac shelves connected, like the one that I have here. He actually has three different sizes of the lac shelves. However, when I went to get the long one, they didn't have it in stock. So I just got two of the mediums and connected them together and it works perfectly. Also in this room is Eric's closet. I'm just going to quickly show you. He has the mom dresser right here, his shoes up there, some hanging clothes. It's pretty spacious, even though it's the smaller closet, but... He's a man, he doesn't need that much space. And then lastly, I have here my YouTube plaque, which I love, it's currently crooked. But moving on to the bedroom, which is the last part of the apartment, we have these two frames, which are from the poster store, the same website as the entrance poster. This one is New York. And this one is a little bit more on the neutral side. There's another print inside. I just need to get another frame because I want to put it in the bathroom. The frames are from Ikea, which I love. And last but not least, we have the bedroom. So this is what it looks like right when you walk in. I wish I filmed this home tour when the pool was open because the view was really nice. We have the views of the trees here, a little lawn with the grill. And then in this corner all around like the perimeter, I have all of my plants, a lot of these plants because they honestly have been thriving in this corner and I just love how it looks. So we have these here. I will be doing a plant tour and like go in depth on each of them then over here we have the infamous mirror which is the ikea hobbit mirror it's one of the most affordable mirrors like these like without any like border um i think it's 120 dollars. it's been out of stock for a while and i actually have two of these mirrors i had one before in the office but now with all of the furniture for not the label i honestly don't have space for it right now but i don't want to get rid of it or sell it so I think I'm going to store it in the storage unit that I just got, but I personally love it in this corner. I'm not gonna lie, this was the view that sold me for this apartment, this unit, and also the rent. I just really wanted floor to ceiling windows, and I also am obsessed with this pole. 
it's just ugh. all right so for the bed i honestly i know i keep saying like stories about everything it's really hard to show you guys how the bed actually looks since it's pretty like tight to show you from afar but the bed is a king size bed and i know that i keep saying stories about everything but this room in particular was a mission and a half to furnish as first of all everything took months to arrive so we were actually sleeping on a floor for like three months we ended up trying three different bed frames so the first one was from walmart i believe the second one was from wayfair and then this one is from joss and main i believe it's also owned by wayfair but we found this one that I fell completely in love with. The mattress is from Allswell. Best mattress ever. I will be linking it below. The rug is from Ikea. It was really hard to find like the perfect size rug for this specific corner. And I just also love the color. It's really similar to the one in the office, just that this one is less um, like fluffy. It's a lot easier to vacuum as well. This is what the bed frame looks like a little bit closer it's just so so stunning the frame by the way it's old from my old apartment it was the first gift eric got me he painted this and i love like the neutral tones and also the pop of color that it adds to the room because that's my favorite color now the lamp unintentionally ended up matching perfectly with the bed frame this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. That was also something else that was so hard to find, like the perfect set, the perfect height, you know? I think it goes really great with the room. And the nightstands was also another hard furniture to find. This one was an amazing home goods find, of course. I'm going to try my best to find similar pieces to it, but home goods came through when finding this nightstand. I love the fact that it has three drawers i also love the height because i also love the height and the fact that it has storage of course but i got another one from wayfair which was a lot shorter compared to the bed and the height of the mattress and of course the comforter you guys know how much i am obsessed with this comforter it got it at bed bath and beyond but it's from the brand ugg it's faux fur of course but it's the coziest comforter of life like it's not too hot as well because the other side it's like regular sheet material it comes with these two pillow covers and i got this separately but it's also from the brand ugg from bed bath and beyond the back pillows the big square ones are from bed bath and beyond as well uh, one of them is from all's well and the covers are from ikea now this is what it looks like from this angle we have the other building there these people thankfully always keep their curtains down so we don't see them ever but if they would we would be able to see each other my planters are usually from home goods or marshalls but i have some from ikea and also from amazon like this one but these two are from home goods which are one of my favorite planters ever because i love the tone of wood you could still see the price i need to remove that this is what it looks like up close and then the wood sphere or circle is from home sense also an amazing find and i feel like it goes perfectly with the wood this bench is from ikea and it's a wooden bench that's what it looks like you can use it outdoors or indoors i had it in my old apartment on my balcony which i miss so much and then the fur throw thing is from tj maxx it's actually a runner for a table and i just use it as the cover this chair is from target from the mcgee line you guys are probably familiar with it it was a great price compared to the CB2 and other brands similar to it. I have it with this random pillow, which the cover, I think it's from Ikea. And then above it, we have our TV. This is a 60 inch, if I'm not mistaken. And behind it, we also have the LED lights. You can change it to different colors, but I just personally prefer this color. And we have it mounted on this like specific mount that leans forward or you can pull it and move it. And then we have the cords with the cord covers all around until here. And this little extension cord, which covers that. But yeah, you guys, that's basically the bedroom. 
and then this is my closet which I've made many videos on how I've organized it decluttering also how I've put up those shelves I'm going to be listing a couple closet videos that I've shared down below in case you guys want to see it a little bit more organized because honestly it is not but I'll go around and show you the furniture and the things that I have in here so starting on this side I have all of my winter clothes some jackets blazers cardigans pants coats and then above I have my jeans and then above it I have this shelf which we got from Home Depot the brackets are also from Home Depot I'm going to be linking the video that I show exactly how we install this but I have my purses here and then below it I have one of the mom dressers which have some of my bathing suits also some more purses and my summer sandals all the way in the bottom I have some hats there right on this side i needed a place to organize my perfumes i use these acrylic shelves which are from my old apartment they're from amazon i have four of them and the reason why i actually organized them in my closet is because perfumes last longer if they don't get natural sunlight so it's perfect here and then i organize it everything by color and yeah these are some of my perfumes i'm going to be Hopefully making a perfume favorites really soon. And then on this side I have more winter clothes, my sweaters, hoodies, and all of that. Above I have some thigh-high boots. I actually did a major decluttering on my boots, so I am going to be now buying more boots. I have some extra yarn here, which I'm actually going to be storing in my storage unit really soon, so I'm excited about that. And now I have more space for boots. Then on this side are all of my, I guess, summer shoes or heels and some sneakers. But honestly, you guys, maximizing your space with shelves on like space like this that you will not use is key. All right, then here I have some of my Poshmark items in case you guys are interested. I have some items listed. I'm going to be linking my Poshmark below. I also have more coats here. And then these are technically my summer clothes that I decluttered. Some dresses, tops, you know, just anything summer related is on this side. And below it, I have another mom dresser. By the way, I have another mom dresser here. These just have like my sweatpants and some like extra stuff there for not the label. I have some yarn there, my luggage, and again, the mom dresser, which has my PJs and underwear and stuff. But yeah, that's basically my closet. I honestly couldn't be more grateful to have a walk-in closet for the first time and just so much space to store everything in one. Because before, if you guys remember my studio apartment, my closet was basically like this size, even half of this size to be honest. And I could only store my seasonal items and then the rest I had to find somewhere to put it. But honestly, total upgrade and I'm so, so grateful. All right, lastly we have the bathroom this is technically my bathroom because eric has his own and thankfully i have my own so this one has a shower that's what it looks like from the inside i want to put a frame here like i mentioned with another print of this right there because it's pretty bare um we have another faux plant here the kleenex hand towels this bath and body work spray the bathroom trash cans are from home goods of course the rugs are from home goods this is from home goods i really wanted a hamper that had like a lid and i love the fact that this one you can open it like that these hand towels are from sandcloud i am obsessed with it they're 100 percent organic cotton made in turkey and I just really love their material. They make the best beach towels as well. Above, I have these two frames, which are from my old apartment. They have like crystals inside. I just love the tone of wood and I really did not want to get rid of it. I just didn't know where to put them. And I think they go perfect um, right here. Back onto this side, let me show you my medicine cabinet, which I recently organized. This was a hot mess. I'm not going to go too in depth on all of the products, but if you're interested, you can pause. These little organizers, I got a bunch of questions on Instagram. I got it from Family Dollar. Try to link similar ones because I'm sure they sell it at the container store or you can find it also in your local Dollar Tree. But yeah, that's basically the medicine cabinet. And then below it, I have more products because you know, the beauty of being an influencer. This is to clean the shower and it's from Amazon. I also love the fact that it's adhesive. 
I have these two bins from Ikea filled with products. And then this organizer is from Amazon. Another Amazon find. I forget if I got it from Amazon or Wayfair because I for sure saw it in both places. But is this amazing storage unit, which looks like this inside. I have some feminine products here. These little Lacey Susans all around with more products because I need all the storage I could get. And then above, I have this cute little scented sticks, some body oil, and another faux plant. I have like faux plants in the bathroom, but every other plant is real. Lastly, for the shower, there's not much to show, to be honest, but I do want to share some of the things that I added, like, for example, this shower head from Amazon. This is adhesive, I think. Oh no, it has a glue and you just stick it and glue it so you don't have to drill, which I love. And then the little caddy situation is also glued to the wall. It doesn't fall, it's really sturdy. I've had it for about a year now and honestly 10 out of 10 would recommend. These come in different colors like black, and I think maybe gold or white, but I got it in silver to match everything else. But yeah, that's basically the bathroom behind this door. I just have this ladder because I honestly don't know where to put it and I do not want to get rid of it. So for now, it's just here. I cannot believe that we finally filmed the apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry if it was really long. You guys know my studio apartment was 40 minutes long, so I'm sure this one is a lot longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and make sure to check the description box. I'm going to try my hardest to link everything or similar pieces that I find. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and see you next time. Bye.